Hello, friends. It's me, Tracy. Uncle Buford slept in our guest room last night. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. He just got married this past year, and already there's trouble in paradise. It seems Uncle is in the doghouse. He wants very much for his marriage to be lasting. He tries very hard to be the best husband he can be. So he was reading online about the things to do to keep the romance alive in your marriage. He evidently read an article that made this suggestion. It said, treat your wife the same way you did on your first date. So he thought that was good advice. He went home from work early, took a shower, he got all gussied up, and he picked up his wife straight from work, and he took her to the same place they had the first date at. Yeah, they had a wonderful romantic dinner. And then after dinner, he dropped her off at her parents' house. Poor fella. He tries. He was feeling kind of dumb about the whole thing, so I figured I'd try to boost his ego a little bit and ask him for some sage advice. I said, Uncle Buford, you've been, you've been living a long time and you've got a lot of experience. Is there anything you can tell me as a recommendation? He said, well, Tracy, I've learned to never sing in the shower. I said, why not? Well, he says, because singing in the shower leads to dancing in the shower. And dancing in the shower leads to slipping in the shower. And slipping in the shower leads to uh, paramedics seeing you naked. So remember, don't sing in the shower. I laughed. I tried to cheer him up. But he said, Tracy, I know what you're trying to do here. I know you're trying to cheer me up, but... You know, I just had a bad day all around. He said, I, I tried to button my shirt this morning. And the button fell off. Then he said, I, I picked up my lunchbox to go to work and the handle fell off. Then I went to open the door to leave for work and the doorknob fell off. He said, let me tell you something. I'm scared to death to go pee. 